We'll start with a uh, standard barbless nymph hook. This is a size 10. We need a little length of lead wire. So we hold this just on top of the hook shank and we'll go around in tight close touching turns. You need about uh, yeah, 10 or so turns depending on the hook size and how heavy you want the pattern to be. Just come in there like that, roll that end around, that's good. And we take our thumbnail on both hands and just push these two ends together. We want it a wee ways back from the hook eye so we have room to finish. So we've got black sheer tying thread. We'll attach our tying thread here. We just want to put a little stopper in, stop that th uh, lead wire moving. Then we'll fold over that tying thread end and we just go gently over the lead wire to the rear, come in there and then we'll lock off the lead wire at the back with another stopper and then we can trim off that and work our way back to about there then we need a black cock hackle for the tail. What we do here is we take, pull the fibres out, stroke them out like this. I've removed the fibres from this side, it makes it easier. Uh, and then what we do is we take all the some of the fibres like that and we just pull them off and we carry on. It's difficult for me to show you here. You just match them up in your hand until we have a bunch, measure the tail. So I'll just tack that in with a couple of turns, just check the tail length, that will do me nicely. And then holding the tail on top of the hook shank, we go back a wee ways like that. Then we can go forward, just tack down these ends to the lead wire. Then we need some black chenille and this goes again just up to the lead wire on top of the hook shank and we'll follow this back to there, the tail base and we can go up again and just take that out of the way a little then what we want to do is we take the chenille and we want to wrap in nice touching tight turns so we get a nice even abdomen all the way up to the lead wire like that. Then here's the little trick. We go over, keeping the chenille on top of the hook shank like that. And then we take the other end of the chenille and get hold of it and we loop it around and we tie that in on top like that. So if I turn my vise we get that loop on top of the hook shank. This will be our wing case. I'll just tighten that into the abdomen. Excellent. Then we need some fluorescent green chenille and what we do here is we just strip off the outer fibres so we reveal the core and we just tie the core in on top like that again into the abdomen and we'll just hang that out of the way there we go and then I've got a black cock hackle. I take hold of the tip like this and I pull the fibres back. I'm going to tie this in reverse. 
So just holding the fibres back, place it on the hook shank there. That's good. And then we can go forward. Just take my scissors and trim that off. Remember not to crowd the hook eye. We need room to finish because it's quite a bulky finish on a Montana. Uh, but it's a very good technique. So I'll just go over that. Stop there. Then we take our green chenille. And what we want to do here is make a few wraps for the thorax beautiful and then we come in here tie that off like so and then come tie it in careful not to cut your tying thread trim that off got stuck in the hook eye there there we are I'm out of it now what we need now is we'll just fold back these fibers like this and we want to follow this will be the legs we want to follow the turns of the chenille so the hackle goes down in between as we go forward forward with that three or four turns over the hackle like that and then we bend everything back make sure that you get everything and then we're going to the hook eye and work our way up just to secure that like so then we can remove that hackle and we take our legs and we pull them out to the sides fold over our chenille for the wing case now again you'll see that I've made those first two wraps right in to the thorax a distance from the hook eye this is so we can trim this off Rest your scissors on the hook eye. We'll trim that off like that. Pull everything back. Give my tying thread a spin to the left to flatten it. Start at the hook eye. Work our way up. Building up ahead. That's good. Whip finisher. That's a great nymph. It'll catch fish anywhere. Whip finish. Remove our tying thread. Now we can just wet our fingers and position the legs. We want them pointing slightly back and down then we can take a drop of varnish and give the head a nice coat Take your time. When you're varnishing, it's good to hold your hand, your left hand on the vise, put your thumb out, and then you can rest your hand, your varnishing hand, on your thumb. So you don't go all over the place. Now 
there we are and then if you've got a hackle bit you can just place it in the eye and pull it through and that's the finished Montana Nymph if you enjoyed the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching